Roberto Ortiz is standing by with your Hollywood headlines. Yeah, wait till you see how much they raked in for that movie this weekend. Uh, Christina Aguilera wants to make a change. The pop star has released a new single to honor those impacted by the Orlando nightclub shooting. It is called Change, and Aguilera dedicated it to the victims of the tragedy and their families. 100% of the proceeds from U.S. download sales made between now and mid-September will be donated to the National Compassion Fund. So there you go. Oh. Another Hollywood couple has called it quits. Iggy Azalea took to social media to announce she is done. Ooh. Done, done, done with Lakers guard Nick Young for good. Did you get that? D-O-N-E. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Iggy wrote, quote, although I love Nick and have tried to rebuild trust in him, it's become apparent that I'm unable to, end quote. Earlier this year, Young was secretly recorded on video seemingly admitting to cheating on the rapper. The two dated for several years and were engaged to be married, but that is no longer. They are done. A new short film is shedding light on a character in Indulgent Independence Day resurgence who seemingly didn't survive the original movie. Take a look. The story of this genius, described as Einstein with a mood ring, was virtually unknown until the War of 96. You may have seen Dr. Brackish Oaken in the trailers for Resurgence, even though he was viciously attacked by aliens 20 years ago in the 1996 blockbuster. Oaken was never seen or heard from again, and fans thought he died. But according to this clip, he's actually been in a coma this whole time. That's so convenient. Oh, my gosh. Independence Day Resurgence invades theaters this Friday. Speaking of the movie theater, a forgetful blue fish just kept swimming all the way to the number one spot, smashing a decades-old box office record. I remember my family! They're out there somewhere. I have to find them. Guys, you gotta help me, guys. Finding Dory took in, are you ready for this? A hundred and thirty-six point two million dollars. Wow. Wow. Dang. Over the weekend, it's first weekend here, making it the highest grossing animated debut of all time. The previous record holder was Shrek the third, which bowed to a uh, 121.6 million back in uh, 2007. The follow up to 2003's Finding Nemo features the voice talents of Ellen DeGeneres, Alba Brooks, and Diane Keaton. Wow! Oh my goodness. That is huge. That would explain why Home Depot was so empty. Yeah. yeah. Nope. <laughs> Nobody there. Mm -hmm. Nobody there. That's what it is. Yeah, all that's the what it was. Parents were at the movie theater. They're all at the movie theater. I, I need to go see that. Yeah, we'll be next. No, we'll be, we'll be next. I'll wait for the DVD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, back up.